Hi everybody. This uh, cell here is what I call the micro mini cell. I have a bunch of them made up here. They look basically like this. You can see how big it is in my hand here. You have a three quarter inch, or just about seven hundred thousandths of an inch outside tube that's three or four stainless steel half inch inner tube this is a stainless steel screw and nut that have been drilled and tapped to attach to the inner tube or the cathode the outer tube same thing stainless steel screw and nut to attach to the anode and just some spacers to keep the, the uh, pipes from touching each other I'm going to demonstrate this cell. This is filled with water. It's cold water. It's room temperature, which is about 69 degrees. And it's uh, distilled water filled with, uh, filled with, it's distilled water with just about um, one and a half tablespoons of uh, baking soda and that's all it is um, I've been using this same water for a long time to do my experiments with so it's a little bit dirty but uh, it'll serve its purpose for today so I'm going to turn this on I'm hoping it's going to be up to about 15 amps but I think it's only about 13 let me see because it's cold Yeah, that's only uh, that's only 12 amps actually, but that's okay. You get an idea. You can see the hydrogen and oxygen coming off of the cell. And you can see that it really, really, really comes off of this thing. This cell does a good job for as little as it is. It just being a micro, tiny, tiny little mini cell. At 20 amps, it gets about a half a liter per minute when the water is cold. And again, this is it. This is the same thing that's running in there, as you can see. It's the same exact configuration. We call it the micro mini cell. Um, I'll let it go for a while and then we'll light off some bubbles. Okay, here we are. It's been running for about a minute. Let's see what a flame does to the bubbles. And it's just water, watch. We put the flame right out in it. It's just water, that's all it is. So if anyone's interested in so, uh, a really neat science experiment for school or something like that, this is an inexpensive way to make a, a hydrogen generator. Just two little tiny stainless steel pipes that you can get at the hardware store. Some wire ties and some screws and put it together and there you have it show your friends that you can burn water they probably won't believe it 